Hey everybody, this is the hardest video I've ever had to make. I've been crying on and off all morning, but for the sake of our fans, and for the sake of me, and for the sake of our children, I need to take accountability. So I think first I have to address some really nasty rumors I've seen going around. Yes, I killed our children. Chad and Brad are with the angels now. Yes, I did kill Gla the princess and technically the king, but that was kind of mostly his fault. And most unfortunately, yes, Jason and I are breaking up. It's been a long time coming, but this is the end of Medeason. I know you guys are all really disappointed with me, and believe me, I am too. It's been a really, really hard 24 hours for me, and I actually just want to crawl into my bed, turn on homemaking with Hestia, and just eat carbs, but we can't all have what we want. This is honestly worse than the time I stood in line for 8 hours to meet Zeus, and he told me that I smelled bad. Sorry, this is really fresh. Just... <laughs> and look. I know you all want to cancel me. I've seen the tweets. Oh, Medea is so bad because she killed her kids. Oh, Medea doesn't want Jason to be happy. What about my feelings? He cheated on me. What else was I supposed to do? His father was already dead. Look, I don't want to leave the cancel train. You all know I don't believe in cancel culture and I believe it's one of the most despicable things in the world. But you all deserve to know the truth. So that's what I'm here to do today. Set things straight so you can all know the truth and who is really at fault. <laughs> it's Jason. I am so sorry. I just, it's been a really tough 24 hours for me. I just, I think I have some kind of bug. And as you know, Jason and I have been in a committed relationship for years now. We dated for a whole day before we got married. Um, he's my ride or die. And that's why I was so shocked and upset that he would do something like this. It all started when I got a notification for this tweet. We have post notifications on for each other's posts. Um, obviously, back from when we thought supporting your spouse was important. Um, so this tweet says, looking for a new wife, hit me up if interested. Um, as you can guess, I was really shocked and upset to find out that he was trying to cheat on me behind my back like this. So I go up to him and I'm like, what the Hades, Jason? I thought you were a real one. And he has the audacity to make it all about himself. He says, like, like we already went through this, and I said it was totally okay, which I did, but I didn't think he was actually gonna go through with it, and then and, and it's, like, totally normal where he's from, and, and I'm like, you know, it's totally normal where I'm from, murdering your husband when he cheats on you! Um, anyway, and for some reason he gets all offended, and he storms off, and I immediately get a notification for this tweet. So naturally, I'm like super upset and I'm literally on like the verge of tears and, and of course when you're in a position like this, you're not in your right mind and all that and Jason like, like really betrayed me, right? So the first thing that comes to mind is, oh my gods, I'm gonna sink the Argo. Um, but then I remember that Orpheus took that on his world tour, so I guess I'm kind of running out of options and naturally I decide, hey, I'm gonna kill the kids. Um, I know that sounds really rash. But you have to understand, I was in a really, really dark place at the time. And I've been struggling with my and Jason's marital problems for a really long time now. You know how much I've done for him? I wiped out half my family for this guy and he can't even stay loyal. I'm honestly so disgusted with his behavior and, and obviously I can't let him get away with it. So, of course, the best way to get to a guy is to wipe out his entire bloodline. That's what my dad used to say. I think most of you in the Argo fam, especially my Argo moms, I love and appreciate you so much, will understand how I feel here. It's not like I wrecked his favorite shield, and I didn't end up sinking the Argo, which probably would have been a lot worse. Honestly, they're just kids, and it'll hurt more than, like, me blocking him on Twitter. So, I hope you can all understand why I would do something like this. I'm so sorry for any offense that I caused. My sincerest apologies to the people of Corinth and Trevor, the boy's tutor. I know how hard it is to function without a king and a princess, and in your case, Trevor, without a job. My thoughts and prayers go out to all of you. You know I love you so much and appreciate all of your support. Speaking of thoughts and prayers, this video is proudly sponsored by Aphrodite, goddess of love. 
Sick and tired of your husband looking for a side piece to replace you? See Aphrodite! She'll hook you up with any solution you could need, and accepts both cow and credit, conveniently located between the Oracle at Delphi and Poseidon's Temple. So, to wrap things up the right way, I will be doing a memory tour in my son chariot, and you'll have the chance to sign autographs and say goodbye to Jason's fallen sons. We'll actually be selling R.I.P. Chad and Brad merch in the shop for a limited time after this in collaboration with the Muses. Link in description, and you'll be able to show your love for the Argo fam. Jason, if you're watching this, lose my number. Consider yourself cancelled. You of all people should know that I didn't really have to kill our kids, and you could have been more considerate. Do better. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys, and hearing me out. And a huge shout out to Aegis for editing this video for me as part of our little deal. My love for you is immeasurable. To the people of Corinth, I'm asking one last time to stop the memes. They aren't funny. As always, you can find links to our Patreon and merch in the description, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more. Love you, Argo fam. Medea out.